most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shum, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. So today we're going to show you how to tape and stop kneecap pain. So we're talking about telephemoral pain syndrome. So kneecap pain, you know, you, you know where your kneecap is, your patella, mm -hmm. uh, can be caused by direct trauma to it, you know, or if you're someone that kneels on it all the time. Sure. But also it's very common for the kneecap to get out of position. Now, you can see the kneecap moves around here, and it, it, it resides in a groove. There's a groove under the bone, I mean, under the kneecap. Yep. And if they're on the side of the groove, it's going to cause pain if it's so, not right, running right in it. Right. They, they call it tracking. It, it tracks in that groove. If, it, if it's not in the center, if it pulls one way or the other, then oftentimes it pulls this way, and then... The uh, when it's out of the track, it starts to wear on that yeah. uh, cartilage, becomes arthritic and painful. So we need to pull it and get it back in the groove, and we're going to use some tape with that. Yeah, you might feel some grinding because mm. it's it's just not smooth anymore because it's been wearing out from being on the outside of the groove. Right. And um, Brad showed that really well, actually. Yeah, quite often it's Here's tight the on the outside though. here. It's tight on the outside of the yep. knee. And so we got to stretch it this way, that way. Yep. But really, for you, you should find out which way it does hurt for mm -hmm. you. Because it could possibly be on the, on the other side. Yep. And you might have to push the kneecap away from it. Yep. And, you know, ideally, you're going to have a therapist do this. But um, right. I always think that what's the worst that's going to happen if you try it? If it hurts, you're, gonna, you're not going to do it. Right. You so. only proceed with it as it feels better. Oftentimes, this, the symptoms uh, and the pain is provoked by up and down steps or yes. squatting. Yeah. In fact, prior to taping, we're going to have you assess your baseline for mm -hmm. pain. Now, you can do that by doing a squat. Yep. You know, you can just do a half squat and see how much pain it is. Yep. Rank it from 1 to 10. And then you're going to tape it and see if that pain level gone, has gone down. Right. What I did when I was seeing patients with this, I'd have them walk upstairs. Yeah, that's I'd, what I would do. Yeah, I'd have them walk up the stairs, tell me how much pain do you feel. Then we tape it and have them walk again. And very commonly, it, it stops hurting. Yeah. And, and I found that oftentimes going down steps was a little more worse. painful than going up. Uh, I'd say, give me a number going up and down. They'd say, oh, no, it's like a oh, three going up, a five going down. Then we would tape and have do it again. And it would be, again, a, a very common to see improvement. So you went up the stairs and down the stairs and ranked your pain. Mm -hmm. So now you're ready to go ahead and try to put the tape on. Now, we use um, uh, two types of tape here. You could try kinesio tape or K-tape. Right. It, um, it's that stretchy tape you can buy it pretty right. much anywhere online or at a pharmacy and that might be easier what we use is a uh, uh it's called the hypofix or uh, this is called omnifix actually we'll have a link below but um it, it's hyperallergenic so it's easy on the kneecap and the skin you won't less likely to get a rash well i'll out. tell you i've had people with uh, w who wore this a lot mm -hmm. like you know three four weeks in a row yeah and they started getting a little bit of rash yeah. you have to always watch it i mean it, it, it's always a possibility, yeah. even with a hypoallergenic yeah. tape. If your skin's getting red, itchy, sore, you need to just con discontinue the whole treatment. It's just not an option. So, Brad, we I usually put down a couple pieces of this. Yeah. So I've got some right here. Yeah, why don't you go ahead yep. and put it on. So here's uh, my usually knee. Usually clean the knee first. Yeah. Now, it, depending on how hairy your skin is, you may right. want to shave the hair because when you pull this off, it's a lot more comfortable, and it sticks better, too. You have to be clean skin, dry skin, of course. I'm going to go on this side of the kneecap. I know the edge of my kneecap is right here. I can feel it and actually and see we're it. Again, you're going to push the kneecap that way. Yeah. So we want to make sure there's a little bit more that way. So I'm going to push here. Now, you can see by my skin, it's going to pull. Well, maybe on the camera you, you, you can't. You don't really need to pull this one, Brad. This is just the underlying tape. Okay. So I've always pulled it. Do you? Yeah, yeah you can start. Yeah. That's I good. mean, I'm not pulling real hard, but it right. gets it the slap out of it, I, yep. I would call it. But yeah, this is one of those things when you do it once or twice, you'll get a feel for that. I'll go a little bit further, Brad, too, okay. because I, I'm going to hook that oh, sure. Luco tape yep. right to the kneecap. So, so here, I kind of went my first one. I didn't go far enough this way is what Bob is saying. So this, I'm going to lap yeah. it. I'm going to come over so we get the whole kneecap. 
little tension there, not a lot, and get it down. And my last one. Now, my daughter had this, and um, she would tape it herself. Mm -hmm. She'd do it before basketball games. Oh, very, really? Very common yep. in a, a lot of young girls. So that's why I don't feel bad showing on YouTube yep. because, you know, eventually you're, you're going to want to try these possibly on their own. So now we're, we want to move that kneecap over. I'm going to go ahead and circle around the kneecap. Sure. Right. Yeah, so you're a good indication. So that's where the kneecap is. Now, in uh, the case of someone who's having trouble, it might actually be over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to push it over, okay. use my thumbs, and then I grab. Yeah, I'm going to do it, Brad, Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you got you know, your system down. So I'm, I'm on the edge of the kneecap, on the outer edge. It's, it's kind of holding there. And I'm going to pull. I'm pushing with my thumb, and I'm pulling with the tape at the same time. It's really important that the person is... Relaxed. Lets their quadriceps completely relaxed. Otherwise, watch when I tighten them. You can see it. Yeah. It, it doesn't, it won't be effective. And look at the wrinkle right here in the tape. I don't yep. know if you can see that. But that's good. You know you've you've got some. You pulled it over. Yep, you've got some motion And I usually there. do at least two pieces because, you know, you want to hold it in place. Mm -hmm. So the same thing again. I'm pushing with my thumb. I'm catching the end of the kneecap. So you're going right over the top and of the other I'm one? And I'm pulling her over. Yeah. And now, you know, the thing is, once it's in place like this, it's a good time to actually do some strengthening exercises, sure. Brad, because now you're strengthening the muscles to try to ha keep it in the groove. Yeah. You know, so you can do uh, quad sets or you can do straight leg raises. And, yeah. So, and we're really looking for this this muscle right here, the VMO, correct, right. that to fire in. So sometimes it can, I'll even have patients kind of hold that right there and feel that muscle tighten up and just that tactile feedback and get that muscle to fire better more yeah it's hard to isolate that muscle you know completely yep. you're going to get the entire quadricep but but um that that certainly gives you a little more feedback and you know again it, you know this can is good for maybe 24 to 48 hours sure you can shower with it but it may you know become loose so um, so now we would have you could go up and down yes, the steps again yes, and yes. say is the pain better worse or the same and it should be immediately better right or you probably aren't going to do this right. or you didn't tape it right. Right. So yep. um, you want immediate improvement. Uh, I used to have one lady, believe it or not, Brad, she was uh, 60 some years or 70 some years old and she had pain in her knee when she climbed the steps. Yeah. And we found out that pushing her kneecap over felt yeah. better. Yeah. She'd push it over while she's stepping so up So she'd the just steps. bend over yeah. and push it over and do it manually. Yeah. And she and had no problem with yeah. She had no pain. So yeah, right. I know, weird thing, but yeah, it, it yeah, actually well, worked. So. That, that makes a lot of sense. I, I don't know if uh, you wouldn't want to squat deep with this because no. then the, you'll know the tape actually lets loose. And once the tape lets loose, it, it doesn't do any good. That, and then that's why you might try the other tape, the uh, kinesio tape. Right, because that does stretch. And that's for athletes. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about it, Brad, it, it's not quite as stiff as this. Yeah, you it know, stretches. So yeah, it, it stretches. Won't re it may not give enough pull to get that patella in the track. You're really going to have to use the full stretch, right. I believe, to, to, right. to do so. So Bob, give it a try. And Bob, I don't know if anybody noticed, but did you notice my socks and my shoes match? They're perfect. The color. Yeah, yeah. That's just All something right. I thought I'd brought it, bring All up. Right. I, it doesn't happen. Do really. I have to be impressed? No, I just thought okay. the viewers are going to comment. All but right. anyways, I, well, All it's right. the end of the tape. I thought I'd bring that out. What you, you, like, if you walk around with, like that with shorts on, I hope you don't. <laughs> well, I'm going to, Bob. Uh, All right. But my kneecap feels a lot better. All right. Thanks for watching. Just having fun.